To conclude your weekend, there's been some pretty sizable updates in recent days involving German flag carrier Lufthansa. One, related to their Airbus A380s, and two, their financial results, but beginning with none other than the world's largest passenger plane, that is the A380. The airline returned its first quad-engined A380 to service in recent weeks and is planning on adding cities in the coming months, such as Los Angeles and Bangkok. But now, it's revealed more plans to return additional A380s to active service. Per Sirium, Lufthansa has informed the reputable and reliable aviation data source that D-AIMH and D-AIMC will return to the fleet in 2024, meaning if customer demand levels remain incredibly strong, the plan would be to also reintegrate D-AIMA and D-AIMB to operations between 2024 and 2025, this being an increase on those plans that they had in initially laid out. D-AIMH was delivered to Lufthansa in June of 2011 and has been stored since September 2021 after a year-long stay in Frankfurt during the height of the pandemic when the airline was pretty sure that the series would never return. As for D-AIMC, well that was stored in Frankfurt until January 2021 before it moved to France for long-term storage. Like many other carriers, globally demand has definitely returned quicker than most would have expected. As a result, the A380 becomes a desirable option for airlines such as Lufthansa, who have not necessarily fuel-efficient aircraft available, but definitely ones that are high capacity to meet the soaring demand. Even if it is a plane in storage, well, it can be returned if those levels are deemed so high. Additionally, if I do focus specifically on Lufthansa, they are an airline that has long been battling with delays and deliveries for their upcoming wide-body aircraft from Airbus and also Boeing. These new aircraft were intended to replace their aging A340s, A380s and 747s. These are all aircraft with high capacity and the latter returning to service are very much a short-term fix while they hopefully await deliveries for those new aircraft types, including your A3 350s, 787s, and 777Xs too. Moving along to the next topic when talking about Lufthansa, they revealed their second quarterly results. With higher prices for tickets, they've seen substantial profits, something we are seeing industry-wide. 2023 is expected to be for Lufthansa one of their best, following operating profits also hitting USD $1.19 billion. This is a massive difference from the USD $428 million for the same quarter one year prior. They have essentially nearly tripled that. Revenues for the second quarter, while well, they were also up 17%, hitting over USD $10 billion, highlighted once more through the increased ticket prices and passenger numbers growing year on year. But still, for the second quarter, it is worth mentioning that that underlying number is still not at quite pre-pandemic levels. Lufthansa does say it carried 33.3 million passengers for the second quarter. This was 84% of the levels seen in 2019, which again highlights to us that they just aren't quite there yet, but no doubt should be able to achieve those results sooner rather than later if demand continues to stay high. Air traffic, though, continues to be a pressing cause for concern. This is actually not just for Lufthansa, but is happening right around the globe. It prevents airlines from really reaching their maximum capacity, and especially what Lufthansa is citing, challenges with the ATC bottlenecks within a Europe European airspace as a real big catalyst as to why for passenger levels it is expected for the remainder of 2023 to be lower than pre-pandemic figures. While the demand is there, they just can't quite reach it. According to Lufthansa, the second quarter really focused on improving flight operations too and ensuring that there was stability within the company. The strategy, according to Lufthansa and Focus, was a success. As a result, they reported a 70% improvement in punctuality for the first six months of the calendar year. That's going to conclude your latest update regarding Lufthansa. Again, focusing on the Airbus A380 operations, which are only seeming set to grow, and some focus on those quarterly results, which paint an interesting picture at how Lufthansa is going. Let me know your thoughts on either of the topics down below in the comments. Thanks a lot for your support. Take care and be safe, and I'll see you next time. And we'll fly.